I'm leaving at 4 p.m. and I don't care what anyone says. One of the most entertaining parts of watching Keeping Up with the Kardashians is witnessing the family's incredibly unreasonable meltdowns. Season after season, they never fail to disappoint. In this video, we'll be looking at the sisters' biggest cat fights captured on camera. In season 17, things got heated when Kim and Courtney got involved in a full-on fashion feud. It all started when Courtney wanted to pick out an outfit to wear for her 40th birthday party, and Chloe told her to FaceTime Kim to weigh in. Courtney admitted that she didn't trust Kim's opinion, and that's when things got ugly. Kim then accused Courtney of trying to steal her style, saying that she always picked out the same clothes, and explained how much work she puts into curating her look. Courtney became furious and lashed back by mocking Kim's Met Gala dress choice and compared it to a Halloween costume. Way to take the high road, Court. After this argument over style, things only got worse. The two sisters bickered over text, slinging insults back and forth at a dizzying speed. Courtney dug deep and called her sister a miserable human being, and she didn't stop there. She went on to accuse her of masquerading as a humanitarian, but not contributing to the world. Without skipping a beat, Kim called Courtney a fake humanitarian and argued that she critiques her for not helping out, but doesn't do anything herself to promote global change. As far as who's the better humanitarian, based on this blowout, we'll call it a tie. We all know that the sisters are no strangers to critiquing each other. There were a couple times where they crossed the line. One of the biggest fights of all time happened when the girls were trying to plan a Christmas card photo shoot. Tensions were running high when Kim explained how important it was to get everyone together in order to create a lasting memory. However, when Courtney refused to change her plans for the shoot, Kim totally blew up, stating, no one wants you in the shoot, get out of here and go. The cherry on top was when she said she was the least exciting to look at. Needless to say, it did not end well. After the buildup of all this drama, Kim and Courtney were still at each other's throats, but it didn't stop Kim from inviting her big sister to her baby shower. Kim went above and beyond planning the perfect celebration for baby Chicago, making the theme CBD and meditation, ensuring a truly chill welcome for her fourth child. Although Courtney originally was excited about the event, the wounds of their fight were still fresh, so she decided to skip the shower. As you can imagine, this only made Kim even more upset. Kim admitted, I really hoped Courtney was going to get over herself and just show up, but she didn't. She went on to accuse her of not prioritizing family and was shocked that she would miss out on such an important occasion. One of the most random family outings on the show is when the sisters decided to spend some quality time together on a boat tour around the Alcatraz prison. While it was supposed to be a moment for the gang to have a fun family moment, Chloe noticed that Courtney was on her phone and not participating in all the pre-planned sisterly fun. Instead of calmly asking her to put her phone away, Chloe flipped out and said, What are you here for? You're like a waste of space. Safe to say that this moment will go down as one of the show's most epic screaming matches of all time. When Kim, Courtney, and Chloe traveled to Tokyo to shoot a Yeezy campaign, the three women went all out and made sure to be dressed to the nines. Chloe posted a photo of her sporting a sparkly silver dress with statement chandelier earrings, and Courtney shared a selfie of her wearing an embroidered red silk robe with bold blue eyeshadow. While it's clear the sisters were proud of their looks, Kim said she was embarrassed by her sister's style and even went as far as to say, I couldn't even eat dinner because I was so disgusted. Later, when Kim confronted her sisters about the so-called fashion emergency, Courtney said that she thought Kim looked like a cyclist who had just won the Tour de France. When planning a Candyland B-Day bash for Northwest and Penelope Disick, Courtney told her sisters that she would prefer to keep the sweets to a minimum. Because of the theme, you can imagine that the idea was met with a bit of pushback. Kim reacted by saying she's actually insane and was exasperated by the idea of having a Candyland theme party with no candy. She even threatened to split up the birthdays and throw one for North on the same day. After a lot of arguing, the sisters were finally able to compromise and throw a soiree with treats as far as the eye could see. There was even a station where kids could design their own candy sunglasses. It seemed like Kim got her way after all. Let's not forget the youngest members of the Kardashian clan, Kendall and Kylie. While they might not seem as dramatic as their older sisters, it's all a ruse. Lest we forget the moment in season 11 when the two girls got in a huge argument after Kylie wouldn't let Kendall borrow her clothes. During the episode, the sisters are seen getting ready for the ESPYs when Kendall asked to borrow something to wear to dinner after the show. Kylie flat out denies her and Kendall is shocked. When the family went to stay in the Suri Resort Hotel in Bali, it looked like a true paradise. They booked the most expensive and most private villa in the resort and spent around 40k just on the accommodation alone. You would think that the scenery would make for a peaceful and relaxing getaway, but for the Kardashians, no matter where they are, they never escape drama. 
Because it was the first family trip with Chloe's daughter, True, Chloe was definitely on edge. Courtney accused Chloe of complaining too much about childcare, which set her over the edge. The two of them went back and forth yelling at each other over this and that, throwing around more expletives than a sailor. Though this caused a falling out, the two eventually apologized to one another and were able to salvage the rest of the vacay. One of the biggest blow-ups that happened was when the Jenner girls were in their teens. When Kendall and Kylie were young, they looked up to Kim and wanted to spend as much time with her as possible. Kim, however, didn't want to entertain her kid sisters all the time and decided one day to play sick so she could have some alone time. The girls thoughtfully responded by buying her get well flowers, but then ended up catching her in her lie. Kendall was so upset that she smashed the vase of flowers and stormed off in a wild rage. That'll teach Kim to lie on camera. Courtney shocked viewers when she admitted that she wouldn't be upset if the show ended. Because the show is so important to all the family members, it makes sense that the sisters were less than impressed by this comment. To them, family is everything, so hearing that Courtney would want to split from something that they had grown together caused a total uproar. In a separate clip, Kim said plainly, we're firing Courtney, she's out. As we know, Courtney's life revolves largely around her family, but also on her new lifestyle company. For her, leaving the show would mean she could focus more on her personal life, but we sure would be sad to see her go. One of the most iconic moments of the show was when Kim went AWOL and attacked Chloe with her purse. If you haven't seen the episode, odds are you've seen the gif. The story goes that Kim bought a shiny new Bentley and her sisters accused her of bragging about it. Kim then proceeded to whack her sister across the head while yelling, don't be rude. It has become one of the most quotable and viral moments of the series, so much so that we think it's worthy of an Oscar. What cat fight do you think was the worst? Are there any that we missed? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Taco for more.